Alright everybody, we are here at the studio to take a look at the blister packs that are going to be listed or are listed now. Check this out, 1968 Beatnik Bandit. Beatnik Bandit, now this guy looks really great under a bright light because it is a very darkened rose and so it gives it a nice rose color. Now in the daylight it doesn't look quite as good as this because it's toned dark. But with the bright light on it, it looks really cool. It's a nice uh, color combination for the beadnik with a white interior. This particular package is a 1970 issue. It's got the 70 models in there as well as some of the 68s and most of the 69s. Probably all of the 69s. Why don't you just stare at that for a minute and check it out. Okay, never mind. Let's move on to the next one, which the next car in the line today is a hot heap. Hot Heap, it's a red, it's a Hong Kong issue. Mattel Toy Makers, look at that, red. Got nice chrome on this puppy, look at that bright chrome. This car came from a fresh case, it's unpunched. Beautiful condition. Got original 68 package on the back, so it's an early issue. Could be 67, could be 68. I think the 67, late 67 when they started making them, had the smooth sides. You decide on that. This got a nice shiny chrome base. There's a little crack front to back right here, but it is unpunched, so it's quite nice. And I actually have two of those. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Twins. This one is punched. Same card. 68 card back. A little bit different shade. As you know, every Hot Wheels car is different, slightly different. So take a look at those two colors there. They are slightly different. Let's look at the wheels. Are they both the same? Let's see. It looks pretty perfect wheels on there. Slightly off on the front one. And perfect wheels on that one. Let's see if we can find any other differences. Got the same brown interior. Look at the bases. Check it out. Nice and shiny chrome. The unpunched one has no cracks at all at this time. And it is nice. That is two beautiful red hot heaps. 68 on the 68 card back. Both say Python. That's good. Python card back. Next one up now is, let's see, it's going to be, look at this. Ooh, Python. Python. Little bends in the car in the bubble there. Quite a big bend over there. A little bit of a crack right there. But look at that color. Where are you going to find a copper 68 Hong Kong Python? Well, I can answer that question right here. Python, copper brown, perfect condition, beautiful bright chrome. It is a gorgeous piece. Look at that. Like, let's take a look at the card. Oh, yes, early 69 card. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> it's a 68 card back. Boy, just trying to let her flow there. 68 card back. That is nice. Now, I don't do a lot of editing on my videos. I like to just run through. Keep talking. Python, again, this time in a rose, also dark. Rose tends to get dark on most Hot Wheels. This particular one is a little darker on the front than it is on the back. But look at that bright chrome. Now, how does the body... How does the body get that toning on it when the base is so beautiful? Why couldn't the top stay beautiful chrome like that instead of turning a little dark? Well, that's because I make them separately, I suppose. This one has a crack front to back on there, on the top right. That's pretty typical because when they're in the case, there's a lot of pressure here from the other card. And the other card in this case might have been this second rose python. So when they're in the case, they lay against each other like this. And this, ed these edges pressed down on those, and that you know after a long time, this one is unpunched. The second one, a little bit lighter, more of the toning is concentrated around the engine on this particular one. Let's take a look at the difference. Let's see if we can see. Well, let's see this one. Well, this one looks nice, and this one looks nice. Your choice, of course. Check it out. Got two of them, and they are. Oh, in this case, these are on the 1970 lineup card backs. A little bit later issue, U.S. Pythons in rows. Wouldn't it be nice to have two of those? Well, you can have two of those. You could have two of those or two of these. Gee, many Christmas. Look at that. And you know, the sad part is, well, no, the good part is that I'm selling some of the blister packs out of my collection so I can buy another collection. Yes, that's what it's all about. I realized if I don't sell some of the stuff I have already, I'm not going to be able to buy anything more. Here's a rose silhouette, rose silhouette, 68. Let's see the card back on that. No, this is a later card back. This particular one has a lot of issues to it. I might think about opening this one. It's got a nice lipstick rose color, nice and light. This is what it's supposed to look like originally, nice and light. The motor has got nice chrome on it. The wheels are real nice, US of course. And uh, got the original sticker from Toys. Toys, well, that's the name of your store is Toys. That's good, or the toy department probably. 
got wrinkled there somehow. I don't know how that happens. How do they get a fold line like that? I don't know. Got a bends on the bubble there again. It's pushed up on the bottom here, but it is a beautiful rose color. Could it be opened up? It is nice. Boy, it's tempting. I better check my rose loose car and see if it's as nice as this one because this one is really nice. It does have a little rub on the top there on that bar, but that is a nice, nice car. Let's see what else I got. Is this for sale? This might be for sale too. Oh my God. It is purple and it is liquid purple. That is a beautiful liquid purple silhouette. Wow, we that is so gorgeous. Look at that thing. Bubbles bent just a little bit there. No cracks that I can tell. But look how beautiful that is. Oof, my goodness, that's beautiful purple. That is so gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. Now let me show you a couple of more. Let's see, I actually have look at that, two silhouettes. Isn't that neat? Two silhouettes, two hot heaps, and two pythons. Very, very nice. Here's one that's not a 68, it's a 69, but hey, lo and behold, look at 1968 card back. That's crazy. Why is that? I don't know. But look at this. This is a Maserati Mistral made in Hong Kong, but it doesn't have that normal Hong Kong crappy paint, you know, with the popping. You know what the paint popping is? That's when the little areas of paint bubble up and then just fall off the car, and that's so common on the Hong Kong cars. But this one is so beautiful, it's almost as if it was painted in USA. And even the windows are not too blue. Maybe it's because the car is blue that the windows don't look quite as blue. I guess in the video they look pretty blue, but this car is beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful car. And got the white card underneath. My goodness, that is so pretty. That is a Maserati from 60, 60, 60, 60. And what else? Wait a minute. Oh, look at this. Custom Firebird USA. USA. This one is special, though. It also has the small hole, which means it's an early issue. And when you flip the card around, lo and behold, this one is a cheetah card. All the guys with tons of money collect the cheetah cards because they are the hardest to get. Actually, the only thing harder to get than a cheetah card is a car that only has 10 cars written on the back. Now, this is all the original 16, but there is such a thing as a what they call a 10-car card, and it only has 10 of the cars listed on the back. Now, I've never actually seen one myself. I hear they're out there, and I do know somebody that has like a dozen of them because he has a lot of money, and he's not afraid to spend it. I have never seen a 10 card. This is a rather valuable card. It does have a crack on the bottom here, front to back. Look at that nice chrome on the bottom. The satin blue color is perfect in every way. Got the nice brown interior. It looks very attractive. That is a custom Firebird. All of the custom cars are the most difficult to get. They are so incredibly difficult to get. And that is the last one for this issue of what's coming up. On the website, blister packs for sale, probably Sunday, July 23rd, or Monday, July 24th. Probably depends on how busy I get around here. But thanks for joining me, and as always, remember to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Please let your friends know about my fabulous YouTube videos, 229 of them, for your watching pleasure. And this is the Toy Car Collector.